Non-binary memory, the hot new thing in RAM. Or is it? And what is it? Today, we'll find out. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, you're watching DIY in 5, the show where we break down tech concepts so they're easy to understand in five minutes or less. Today, we're discussing 24 gigabit memory, also known as non-binary memory. What is it? Why are people excited about it? Could it be right for you? Let's dive in. Typically, when you purchase RAM, you're used to having capacities that double. 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and so on. Non-binary memory essentially allows for half steps in RAM capacity. Think 24 gigabytes, 48 gigabytes, and so on. But wait, Trisha, you said 24 gigabit earlier. Aren't you confusing your bits and bytes? When we are referring to 24 gigabytes, we're referring to the memory capacity of the entire module. When we say 24 gigabits, we're referring to the density of each DRAM chip on the module. The density of DRAM chips typically doubles, but DDR5 features an intermediary density called 24 gigabit or non-binary memory. This is done using a new chip manufacturing process that allows for more memory, but in the same size package. Now, to be clear, the data on non-binary memory is still encoded in ones and zeros, AKA binary. So the name is a bit confusing, but that's what is stuck. Not only is this a cool new technological feat in memory manufacturing, but it has some real world advantages too. Having RAM capacities available in a half step up, if you will, can help you save money if a full double upgrade would be too much for your needs. Perhaps you're shopping for a new gaming laptop and 32 gigabytes of RAM seems great for now, but Maybe you want to multitask or future-proof. Then you look at the next option up with 64 gigabytes of RAM, but the price difference between the two is a bit much. Having a 48 gigabyte option in the middle certainly helps. The more options for consumers, generally the better. Plus, when you can fit more memory on a single module, it means greater extremes for enthusiasts as well. You could potentially load up with four 48 gigabyte DIMMs for a whopping 192 gigabytes of memory. Neat. 24 gigabit chips are only available with DDR5. So if you're interested in taking advantage of these new capacities, you'll need a DDR5 based system. Don't have one? Perhaps now's a great time for an upgrade. If you do already have one, you'll need to check for a BIOS update that will enable your system to be compatible with a new non-binary memory. Both Intel and AMD have released patches to all of their DDR5 chipsets. However, it's up to your system or motherboard manufacturer to release a BIOS update for your specific model. So, what do you think? Is the new half-step or non-binary or 24 gigabit memory something you are thinking of using in your next build? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.